What is up everyone? My name is Cody and I have got a tutorial for you guys here today. Um, I know I haven't made a tutorial in uh, probably a couple of years, uh, but I decided to make a new one. I know that uh, if you guys were around for those tutorials now, you're not around for this one, so you're not even hearing that. So anyways, uh, what I want to show you guys is how to live stream with open broadcast software. Um, obviously there's some external hardware devices that need to go in as well. Um, so if you're just trying to record from uh, your in-game Black Ops 2 or uh, any in-game client like the one provided in Black Ops 2, uh, this video is not going to help you whatsoever. And I advise you actually don't do that because uh, if you're streaming from the in-game software that it provides to you, or the in-game feature, um, it's going to look like shit. I'm not going to you know filter it and say that it's going to, oh, it might be okay. No, it's going to look like shit. Um, and the only way you're going to get a lot of viewers is if your name is Soldier Boy and everybody tweets out that you're playing Black Ops. So, unless you're Soldier Boy, click out of this video because it's not going to help you. So, let's go ahead and open up Open Broadcast Software. Uh, it is a software that I recommend if you have, uh, you know, decent, if you have average to good internet. Um, if you have amazing internet, XSplit is probably going to be best for you because uh, it just does really well with the really high encoding. Um, but... Open Broadcast Software does a really nice job of making streams look really good um, on a low-end side of things, if that makes any sense. Um, so there's a lot of things that I might be saying through this video, and if you don't understand them, I really advise you to go to YouTube or Google and figure out what they mean. Um, because to become a good broadcaster, or become a good live streamer, you really want to know what you're messing with. And when you're tampering with your settings, you really want to know what each thing is doing. Um, so first thing you open it up, you're not going to have any scenes here, but I'm not going to delete them because I spent a lot of time making them. Um, so what you're going to want to do is create a new scene. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. You can name it whatever you want. Um, scene one. Uh, and on the scene, you're not going to have any sources. And if you're using an Elgato game capture, which I do recommend, they are very nice. Uh, it's very easy to use, very easy to hook up all that, uh, nonsense. So we're going to go add. Uh, video game capture device, and that's what it should show up as, I, be I believe. Video capture device? Maybe it's the other one. I might have just messed up. Uh, there it is, right there. Uh, you pull down, and you see I've got Elgato game capture, I've got the webcam, and you know other things might show up. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and click on Elgato game capture. Uh, you can configure your settings here. Let's go ahead and go back over to my old one so that we can uh, you know just jot down all those things because I do not have them memorized. Um, so let's pull this down. Here we go. We've got Elgato right here. Let's go into the settings. You can do that by right-clicking, going to properties, or you can click and go to settings. No, nope, my bad. I was I was wrong on that. Uh, go to properties. Properties is what you want to go to. Okay, so here are my settings. If you just want to copy these down, that'll work just fine. Uh, you want to have a custom resolution of 1280 by 720. That is that you are, you are going to be streaming in 720p. Uh, if you're going to Twitch, it's going to be just called source or it's just going to not show up if you're a non-partner. So, um, audio device, you're going to want to use device audio. Um, if you want to have an audio delay, like if, if your shots are off, this is where you're going to edit them right here, um, or you're going to just edit just the video. Right here, I have a 100 millisecond delay on just the video so that the shots and the video show up at the exact same time. Um, you know, going from the Elgato to your stream, there's a little bit of latency errors and it's going to, you know, make the sound sound a little bit later, a little bit too early. So that's why you have to add a delay. Um, it's not, a lot of people think like when you hear the word delay on a stream, you're thinking from, you know, what I'm actually doing to what you're seeing. Um, it is, but it's just to make everything mesh and make everything seem perfect for the produ production value to make it look to you exactly like it looks to me. So you're going to want to just copy all these down. They should work perfectly. If not, uh, you know, just edit with your buffering settings a little bit um, on either of these and just match them up. It takes a lot of testing. Uh, you know, maybe go on another computer. I have another computer right here. It makes it really easy for me. Just, you know, start streaming. Uh, you know, when you first start streaming, you're probably not going to have a lot of viewers or just, you know, make a test channel. And then, uh, you know, just watch yourself back. You know, shoot a gun. See how long it takes from the bullet to the sound and, you know, figure that out. Um, so the next thing that you're going to want to add is if you just go to add uh, and then add another video capture device, that is going to be your webcam. Um, I have my webcam used right here, so it's not going to show up uh, you know, like we'd like it to. Um, but my webcam is video capture device too. I recommend that you name them. I didn't, and I just still have not done it. Um, but you just want to go to properties, or when you add it, you know, all the properties are going to pop up. Um, and here is my delay value. Um, I have my webcam right here. Um, obviously my... Oh, just took my delay off on accident. Um, so what this video delay is, um, I'm going to explain this to you really quickly. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, when you're on Xbox, 
and you talk into your Xbox mic. Um, it's going to go to your computer a lot faster than it goes to everybody on Xbox. Um, just as well as the audio that you hear on the Xbox is going to go to your headphones a lot quicker than it's going to go to the stream. Um, if that makes sense to you guys. I hope that it does because that's actually a big part of... So that's something that you need to have your head wrapped around before you start streaming. Um, so what you want to do is add a 1500 millisecond delay to your webcam so that it matches up with your mouth and it also matches up to... Um, I'll show you in a second, um, but what you want to do is add a 15 millisecond delay to your webcam, um, and then you're going to want to add a 1700 millisecond delay uh, to your voice because uh, you know it's going to come to you quicker, and then you're going to end up talking over your Xbox friends or anybody you're talking to on Xbox um, if you don't have it delayed. So I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you just have to add a delay. Just do it, and it'll all make sense to you. Um, so just have your settings just like this. All right, and that's pretty much it for right there. If you guys want to add like an overlay or whatever, you just add a PNG image with a transparent background. Um, I've got some here that I can show you real quick. Oh, messed it up. Darn Windows. There we go. Um, let's see. Where's overlay? All right, here's an overlay file that I have. Where's my overlays? Right here. Uh, here's an overlay file that I have here. It's going to show up just like this. Um, there's no background at all. If you have it in Photoshop, it's just going to show a checkerboard background. Um, but here's what it is. You just want to have blank background, and then you just put it over top, make it all the way to the top uh, layer, and then that will uh, have an overlay for you. Also, another thing you can do for songs, a lot of people ask me how I play my songs. I just use Spotify here. I'll open it up right here. Um, you just want to have it like in the corner. You want to do a screen capture of over the songs. Um, by doing a screen capture, I'll show you right here. We will do a window capture. Um, and you want to create a subregion, and all that... Here, we got to make it on Spotify. Do a sub-region. Select a region. And you just want to make it uh, basically the size that you want. So you're going to want to put it right over top of the song. Click OK. And then if you preview that real quick, um, we're not going to see it because it's it's messed up. Because it's going to... I don't have anything else on it. Sorry about that. Uh, but, yeah, you just want to do that. And then when you play the music into your desktop, it just automatically gets picked up by OBS. You don't have to... You know, put it in there by some special way. You just play it on your computer, and it's going to get picked up. Um, if you use your Astro A40s, you can plug your USB in, and you can also hear the music, um, and you can use your mic as well. So I greatly recommend any products that I use. The Astro A40s with the mix amp that plugs right in the computer. I use, use it as a power, and it also works as your in-game mic and your in-game sound system, everything like that. It works excellent, uh, as well as the Elgato Game Capture. So let's go ahead and head into the settings. This is probably going to be the main part of the video right here. Um, even though I'm already about eight minutes in, so I apologize for rambling on. Uh, but let's go ahead and head into the settings. Uh, this obviously doesn't matter. You can you make a name for your profile if you'd really like. Here is your encoding. Um, your encoding is going to be based on your connection. If you haven't already, go and run a speed test right now. You can go to speedtest.net, uh, pull your connection, and what I have is a five megabyte upload. And uh, basically, what that allows is five megabytes is allowed to get sent out before like my system doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, it's it's five megabytes per second of free space that I can use, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I say that a lot, if it makes sense, but I hope it does. Uh, and if it doesn't, like I said, Google it, you know, find other YouTube videos that can explain it more. Maybe some people learn in different ways that uh, you'll learn better if you watch a different video. So what I use is 3,000. And if you have a five megabyte up, it's going to work okay. There's going to be some times where it's going to dip under that if you don't have the strongest internet provider, which I don't. Um, so you want to do is use uh, constant bitrate. You're going to click that, uh, click that on, and then you're going to select 3,000. Um, some people also use 2,500. That also works, but I try to go the best that I can. Now you're also going on select uh, enable CBR, and what that's going to do is any time that your connection uh, faces a little bit of stress, it's just going to drop down the rate or drop down the the quality just a tiny bit, it's going to look a little bit blurry and it's going to stop it from chopping. Um, so every time that your connection has a little bit of stress, it's just going to deteriorate a little bit, but instead of you know making it just chop up. If you guys have seen live streams and they just sit there and just chop, 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 that's because they don't have CBR on or also because your connection sucks. One of the two. Um, okay, so your audio encoding, you want to put it on AAC. Uh, your bit rate can be whatever. I try to put it at 160. It doesn't recommend any higher. Um, I just like to have the best audio possible. You can put it lower, and it's just going to you know, lower the strain on your connection. So broadcast settings. We're going to go over here. 
Uh, you want to select live stream. Uh, if you want to create a video with OBS, you can do a file output. Um, but you're going to select Twitch to Justin if that's what you're going to. Um, damn it, I just lost my stream key. Hang on, let me see if, it'll, if I can get it back. All right, there we go. Uh, select a server near you, and then go to a stream key. Uh, you can Google Twitch TV stream key, and it'll load it up. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's twitch.tv slash broadcast, and it'll just load up your stream key, copy and paste it in, um, and then you can select an auto reconnect. Uh, if you are playing like Search and Destroy in a tournament or something like that, you can add your delay right here. You do have to stop and start your stream every time you add a delay or take away a delay. Um, I don't really use any hotkeys or anything like that. Uh, here's your video settings. Um, you want to select a custom resolution. This allows you to select, you know, whether you're streaming in 1080p, 720p, 480p, 360p. Um, that is if you're not a partner because th this is going to be your source quality. Um, if you want to have 720p, it's going to be 1280 by 720. That's just, it's going to load it up in 720p. FPS 30 unless you really want to stream in 60. Um, your audio. Let's go over here. Here is your big one. Um, microphone audio you're going to want to have as your Astro Gaming mix amp unless you are using like a blue snowball or you want to use your webcam audio for whatever reason. Um, and then you're going to want to add a delay of 1700 because we added the delay of the mic or the webcam to 1500. Um, and the webcam comes just about 200 milliseconds before the uh, the mic does. So that's why you want to add a extra 200 milliseconds to the mic. Uh, if that, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I really do. Um, so you want to add a 1700. If you have these settings, you'll understand it. Uh, if you just do it and just add test runs and try out different numbers and stuff like that. Um, so then we're going to go into advanced. Uh, you can copy all these down. Uh, I know that you know I copy these down and they worked right. And uh, Twitch says that I have excellent quality. Uh, right here, they just added a new thing to Twitch about keyframe intervals. You want to add that to two. And then uh, that is pretty much it. That's all that there is going to be to it. Um, and then you basically just click start stream, and it should load up. Uh, when you start streaming, it's going to you know load up and tell you how much you're running at, you know how many drop frames you have, how much of a percentage of drop frames you have. Um, and I hope that that works for you guys. Um, I know that I didn't get to you know show you guys an example of a stream, but I'm sure that you guys can just stop by my Twitch if you want. Twitch.tv slash I'm Cody. Uh, I hope this, this helped you out, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. I'll try to do some more tutorials here soon. Uh, but like I said, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye.